What's going on, guys? It's uh, King Bedhead here. Just had to speak on a recent situation that, you know, I've been seeing out in the blogosphere, you know, the phantoms. Uh, I'm talking, of course, about Nintendo's recent controversial decisions regarding the lack of the national decks to be brought into Pokemon Sword and Shield. A lot of people are really upset, okay? And so, basically the background is that the National Dex is this feature that's been carried through a bunch of the previous Pokemon games where you can take Pokemon from one region to another and, like, port them through. And, you know, you gotta catch them all, right? So, uh, Pokemon! So, you know, you want to be able to bring all the Pokemon that you had in uh, Sun and Moon over to, I don't know, Gold and Silver, Heart Gold, Silver, whatever the remakes at the moment are. You want to, like, have the past, the future, the present, all this, a full continuum of Pokemon, okay? This has been disrupted by the lack of a national dex, okay, in Sword and Shield. A lot of people are upset. They're like, well, hey, I caught all this stuff in Pokemon Let's Go, you know, and they're like, can I bring it over? Like, it's also on the Switch, right? You can only bring it over if you have uh, that Pokemon existing already in the Galar region of Sword and Shield. Like, if it's not already in Sword and Shield, can't bring new Pokemon in. There's no, like, foreign Pokemon. It's kind of like Brexit in a way. Because the Galar region is based on Britain, and so, you know, whereas there's a lot of, like, refugee and immigrant concerns that are causing Brexit to happen in the real world, Nintendo here is kind of causing this similar issue with the national deck. So, look, I'm not here to get political and give my take on whether or not, you know, that's the right thing or not for Britain, but what I will say for Galar and for the national decks is that Nintendo, I think, honestly, should be commended for leveling the playing field. I really feel like, you know, I am a new, uh, recently reborn Pokemon player, right? Like, Detective Pikachu this this spring, like, stoked the fire. You know, I got back into Pokemon Go, you know? I've been, I've been playing Let's Go Pikachu on my Switch. It's been really good, but, you know... I'm intimidated. There's like, oh, GX moves. Or like, is that only in the Pokemon card game? Like, oh, there's also, uh, you know, like Mega Evolutions and stuff. And like, I, I feel like I'm very behind people who have like this National Dex that's like massively built up, okay? I want to get a mainline Pokemon game in Sword and Shield and feel like I'm able to catch up and play with people. You know, like, competitively. I don't want to worry about, like, oh, yo, like, do they have no Mega Evolution Pokemon in certain shields? So am I just, like, SOL on, like, being able to play one of those, you know? I really think that this is going to create an opportunity for players like me, of which there are many, who, like, skipped, you know, maybe a generation of the 3DS and the Wii U. They haven't played a, a Nintendo console in a while, let alone a Pokemon game. To kind of feel like, okay, I know what's going on here, but then as more Pokemon are maybe introduced, I honestly think we're going to see some sort of rolling update system from Nintendo with uh, the, the new Pokemon Home Bank system. I really think that, you know, even though they're saying off the bat, you know, it's going to be Galar only, I don't think that's going to persist for, you know, the whole lifespan. Even, like, I think before the next Pokemon game, we're going to get many new Pokemon available in Sword and Shield. So... Sit tight, everybody. That's my final advice. Uh, sound off in the comments. Tell me what you think. You know, I know this was a spicy take. Uh, you know, let me know if you thought it was too controversial. You know, maybe I just need to go back to post some stream replays or whatever. Uh, if you do like the stream replays, by the way, uh, follow the instructions and follow King Bedhead uh, and sub here on YouTube. Honestly, if you're really generous, that would be cool if you subbed on Twitch too. Uh, thanks, and peace out. Later.